Hi, I'm Greg Butler, a senior customer success manager here at LinkedIn, based in our Empire State Building office. I'm extremely excited to share some of LinkedIn's diversity and recruiting strategies with you all today, and I'm also looking forward to continuing the discussion with some of my colleagues later on. Before we bring them in, I'd love to give some background context around LinkedIn's mission and vision in regards to diversity recruiting in the tech space. To get started, we should answer the question of, what does diversity mean for us? To me, diversity, particularly in the workplace, is having the opportunity to celebrate different thoughts, ideas, backgrounds, um, experiences, and being encouraged to bring that all together uh, to create more value for our peers. Diversity goes beyond just diversity. There's the inclusion and the belonging part that we've been double downing over the last few years. Diversity can mean a lot of things to different people. I feel for me, diversity is coming into the office and right. you know being a part of uh, many people that have come from different backgrounds and different cultures. When I think about diversity in action, the way I think about it is seeking to understand um, and challenging ourselves to be open to the diversity of others around us what? and really trying to embrace the fact that we actually are all connected even though we feel different. In general, diversity can mean many things to many people. Whether you're looking to create a workforce with a better balance in gender, race, sexual orientation, or something else, finding and retaining a diverse workforce can indeed be challenging. Here at LinkedIn, our diversity, inclusion, and belonging vision is to build a thriving community of diverse professionals here within the tech space. This vision is driven through our mission of increasing the representation of diverse professionals at LinkedIn while making them more successful. Diversity and inclusion has been a hot topic in the tech space for quite a few years now, and for good reason. Not only does it help drive economic growth, capture the consumer market on all fronts, and recruit more qualified workforce, but it also reduces employee turnover and fosters innovation internally. For example, companies in the top 25 percentile of gender diversity within their executive teams were 21 percent more likely to have above average profitability than companies in the bottom 25 percentile. For ethnic and culturally diverse executive teams, the top 25 percentile of companies were 33 percent more likely to outperform on profitability. Overall, diversity is one of the key industry trends this year and will continue to be for years to come. Internally, we take a three-pronged approach to encompassing our diversity inclusion mission and vision. The first initiative, Hire and Grow, serves to create a more diverse LinkedIn through hiring, retention, and development strategies. Our invest initiative serves to ensure that we invest in leaders, managers, and allies to create an environment of inclusion and belonging for all employees. Our culture initiative helps to build a culture of diversity, inclusion, and belonging in tech through our product, customers, and external partnerships. Today, we'll focus on hire and grow and how it relates to diversity recruiting overall here at LinkedIn. We break this category down into three strategies internally. The first is simple hire diverse talent across the board, from our executives down to our individual contributors. We do so through a combination of events, including executive dinners, think tanks, recruiting and networking events for working professionals or undergraduates, strategic external partnerships with nonprofit organizations, apprenticeships, internships, and our newest initiative, our REACH program. I'll bring in one of our technical recruiters here to talk a bit more about the REACH program and the value it brings to our company overall. The REACH apprenticeship is basically for people that maybe have come from non-traditional tech backgrounds right. or maybe not have the opportunity right to go to uh, a school that teaches you know technology at its at its finest so we are building a program that we can basically build up people and show them what it's like to work for a technology company like linkedin and you know basically build them up to to what it's like to work in this like more large scale uh, software environment once we target and recruit the talent into our doors it also falls on our leadership to retain and grow talent, which is our second strategy. We do so through a number of internal opportunities for underrepresented groups, inclusive of our employee resource groups and development professional cohort programs. I'll bring in one of the leaders of our employee resource groups here to talk a bit more about the incredible impact our ERGs bring to our culture here at LinkedIn. I think there's kind of two fronts that Big handles that. One is internal, LinkedIn internal employees. Uh, for example, tomorrow we have an office hour session with HR professionals to go over best ways to write your own performance review to make sure that we share, show ourselves in the best light to leadership. Awesome. Um, we also look at an external take as well, our outreach into various communities. So we'll do a rock your profile session at a predominantly black uh, high school to educate them on the importance of branding. So creating upward mobility internal LinkedIn and within our communities outside. Finally, we focus on onboarding talent for a successful ramp experience. We tailor our onboarding experience down to the role, business line, and even seniority to ensure that all of our new hires are set up for success. 
As many of you know, keeping great talent is often as difficult as finding them. So here I'll invite one of my colleagues in to discuss their experience being within our NYC office. It's clearly expected from our managers, from our, my peers, to uh, be bringing new ideas to the table and to be welcoming those from our other people. Um, the way we recruit, we really focus on bringing in people from a diverse backgrounds into the organization right. and then building them from the ground up to help them grow and lead someday. So uh, I think we live and breathe it and I'm proud to be a part of that. Whether that be by including our peers in other conversations, discussing diversity efforts with our clients and talent solutions, right. um, bringing in new people actually into the company, it's all part of our day to day. I love that we are open. I love that we embrace that we aren't perfect and that we are moving forward hopefully towards um, more diverse initiatives at LinkedIn. My own journey towards diversity and how being involved in um, gender driven initiatives has shaped my thinking or even redefined me as a leader. It really started about five years ago when I received a call from our head of operations at the time telling me, congratulations, we're gonna develop you. And I was like, uh, go develop yourself. I'm very good at what I do. So I didn't understand what it was about. Um, I was blind to this conversation and it was a, a revelation for me that we actually should double down on diversity, that I could be part of the problem as well as the solution. Thank you all for joining me for today's session around diversity recruiting strategies here at LinkedIn. Until next time, I'm Greg Butler. Bye.